Ah, we back. It's been a couple minutes. It looks like we hit a lick. I think we found something. I think we found some more eagles. You know, we on a hunt looking for eagle shit. You know, I probably hit the uh, uh, when I run out of shit to find. I probably roll up. You know, medicate and, and, and then come back and hit the uh, yesterday's uh, uh, what do you call it? You know, post game interviews. So I probably hit that. But right now we got to figure out the offense with pa- Colin Cowherd shit. Talking to Mike Vick. Mike Vick been a supporter. For, from like week four or five or something like that. He was like, yo, I think the board deserves more time. So let's see what Mike Vick got to say. Because we know, at least we we know we got somebody with him. Let's get in. Kyle Hurd's been, you know, Kyle Hurd likes to tow the fence. And he don't like to be wrong. So, you know, he's he's been trying to get in front of this Jalen Hurts thing for a few weeks now. So I think he's going to just act like he's letting. I think he's going to. I expect Colin Hurd, Colin Kyle Hurd. To present his argument like, right, Mike? So let's go. Figure out the offense with Patrick Mahomes. Well, I know Andy Reid has extensive playbook, and he can go back to 2010, 2011 <laughs> to the things that we was doing like, like, uh, that, that can be very effective versus headache. any defense still to this day, 10 yeah, years later. No. Um, he, sent, he actually sent me I mean, a play with- uh, last year. And ask me, what was the name of the play? What was the protection? Ah. And what did I think about the play? As I broke it down and looked at it, it was a play that we actually ran. And the play was called Ram. And he was installing it in the offseason. Mm. So I know Andy, he this can go into his bag of tricks. He can find this plays. He can pull things out got Mike's that no other was offensive coach play? can do was it not a good uh, across play? the National Football League. Because he's got plays that extend back to... You know, the early 2000s mm. with, with Donovan McNabb and, and mm. guys like that. Playbook you know, long. A, a team, I had my reservations about the Eagles and Nick Sirianni. So but you. I, 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 Michael, you don't have about. to be great at everything Mm-mm. in this league, but but you, you have to have an identity. And I watched Philadelphia and Jalen Hurts, and I, I said this about six weeks ago. Yeah, because they was, I, what is their identity? What is their identity? What is their identity forever in us out the gate? You know, the reason they do that, one of the main reasons they want you to have an identity is so it makes it other makes it easy on other teams to scheme for you. You know? But I digress. I said he's not the prettiest thrower, but every time I look up, they're scoring in the 30s. Mm-hmm. So all I know is it's a it's like the NBA. You gotta put the ball in the basket. If you get yeah. to 30, you win almost every weekend. A lot of the time. A lot of the time. You score 30 points, it's a big deal. What do you make of Philadelphia's offense, their limitations, their their talent, and and, and what do you see with Jalen Hurts? Mm-hmm. I got to give a lot of credit to Nick Sirianni. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, mm-hmm. he's a young coach in this league, and we got to be you know, real with ourselves about that. And it, it takes some time to learn, like players, even coaches, <sighs> learn how to win, get shit. into a Florida game, and... and Build personnel to go out and execute your offense and, and you know come out of the games with, with, with a win at the end to, uh, at the end of the day. Nick Sirianni. And you know he's just kept been plugging away. That 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 we got we can't scoff at that. That play call, that play design with um for the throw to to Lane Johnson, that's huge. You know, I don't wanna make I don't want to pretend like it's not because, like, did you see there was nobody around him? They didn't see that shit coming. That's good. That's a – he f- hit flips a switch in the second half, and I'm like, why he can't do that on in the first half? Why are we playing our whole game in the second half? Like, I get it. We're wearing them down, but you could wear them down in the first half just running the ball, man. He's been plugging away. I think they they drafted the right guys. I think they got a lot of superstars on offense and Rega and, and, and Smith. And now Jalen Hurts is starting to get like comfortable and coming into his own. After gaining a ton of experience this year, second, ups and downs, highs and lows, and, and even getting a chance to go out and, really and watch quick. Gardner Minshew go Please. play a, a on, phenomenal man, game playing. against the Jets. It's, it's all learning experiences, and when you got a young coach who right understands too, the game, he said who's it. been around some great coaches, you know, he the said, young. When you got Gardner Minshew lighted up, you know, you got to go light it up, you know, because if not, you know how Philly is. We could be irrational. We're going to be like, put Gardner Minshew in. Players 
and, and quarterbacks like Jalen Hurts going to pick it up quickly and they're going to be successful and come out on the other no, side. This is a guy, so, though. I think it's it all guy. starts with him as a coach. You know, uh, we, we said this about Dak Prescott is that sometimes he, you know, Dak and Dunk, it's a lot of short stuff. I don't think but Dak's I th- the guy. For me, Dak's not that guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think, like, I think a lot of peer pressure got Dak paid. I think Zeke deserved his paycheck. Hell yeah. He put work in, you know, but now they're transitioning to a passing team. And Dak's got a lot of weapons that won't be there for much longer. Two seasons from now, we're going to be talking about is Dak elite. I think Dak looks at this team. I think it's going to be. And I think he looks at his defense. And I think he looks around, and a lot of times, there was a story a couple of weeks ago, he was yelling, kill, 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 kill. He was, he was audibling all the time, checking down. And my takeaway was, okay, I can crush him for that. But they were playing the Giants, a backup quarterback, and I'm like, sometimes the hardest thing to do as a talented athlete is to just distribute and, and, and do a Chris Paul. Just mm-hmm. I'm, gonna, mm-hmm. I'm just going to mm-hmm. give the ball to my playmakers. And I, and I watch Dak, and he makes almost no mistakes. His home splits are incredible. And go back to your career, because I don't consider Dak a kid anymore. But it, no, is it he, he the ability to audible out of stuff and check yeah. down is often. Think about be- it. We're talking about who we compared, who is the number one person we compared Dak to, and it's Carson Wentz. They came out the same year. He came out like crazy rounds later than Carson Wentz. And, you know, Carson Wentz got a ring. Where's Dak's ring? If we talking about like Carson Wentz versus Dak, if we talking about anybody versus Dak, what has Dak done? Come on, dog. You've been in the league how long now? All you do is get hurt, do the check down, collect money. I ain't mad at you. Just don't be talking about elite because, man, you got a whole squad right now. If you can't do it with this whole squad, you will be, you ain't that dude. Viewed as weak. And you got his basic ass coach too, McCartney. Weakness by a quarterback, but I don't. I, I look yeah. at Dak and I'm like, I don't think with this roster it is. I think he's really smart and with this roster and figured it out. Your thoughts on that? I'm telling you, it's, yeah, it's, it's all about it compartmentalizing roster, everything, Colin. And, and as a quarterback, you'll like stress that. yourself out going into a game. You know, you you got you know a hundred different pass plays and. You're trying to figure out, okay, I want to get the ball to this guy on this play. I want to uh, make sure if this guy's not open down the field on this play, I'm going to check it down. And you run through all these different scenarios, and then it, it gets real foggy. When it starts to clear up is when, you know, you just take, this, take a step back and look at the offense for what it is. And, you know, you break it down, you slow it down in your mind. And obviously it comes through play and, and, and in practice and seeing what works and what doesn't. But I think Dak is at the point where he's very comfortable now with not only with with Mike McCarthy, but with Kellen Moore and, and the play caller selection. When you can hear a play and hear it come in and you know why it's being called, that's when you're going to be at your best. So it's always about the why and the play call, and I think Dak, is, he's, getting, he's getting there. Um, he's still got a long way to go, but right now he's super comfortable in that aspect. So I said, I know... Like, I don't think... like They was just saying that Kellen Moore's play call is becoming predictable. That's beginning bland. I don't think that's the case at all. I think that's Paul McCartney. I keep calling him this nigga Paul McCartney. I think that's McCarthy's play scheme. I I could really see a situation where uh, uh, Kellen Moore is like, yo, this was, look at, we're going to do this. We're going to move him over here. He's going to slide in. And McCarthy be like, nah, man, we ain't doing all that. That's too much. Just do this and this and this. And let's go. Like, because McCarthy's like, what, 15 plays in the entire playbook, and you do him. And you got different ways to move people around, and that's it, though. It's real basic, 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 you know? So, and Kellen Moore, he's, like, real creative, you know? He's supposed to be, like, an innovator, like a like a, a, a rough-looking dude from L.A., from the Rams. <laughs> but anyway. You Green know Bay's record say. tells me they're really good. But, but they, they don't have much of a knockout punch. Nope. They really ooh, don't. Ooh, they I jab you that. to death. And, and Cleveland throws they four picks. And yet at Lambeau, with two and a half to go, Cleveland's driving for the win. And I said, what worries me about Green Bay is you can run on them Yo. yards per yeah, see? in the league. Well, the downside to that is 
The downside to that is for oh, carry, they're 30. What worries me about Green Bay oh, is fuck, you can run play. on them. Yeah. Yards per carry, they're 31st in the league. Yeah. Well, the downside to that is yeah. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers could end up in the playoffs sitting on the sidelines and watching a game. Like I just, I the last couple of weeks yeah. I've watched Green Bay and I'm like, and we could they, run it down they, they throw. are not blowing average teams out. That's what I'm what saying. do you like, make? Did you ever play in a team clowns, that was a good team but couldn't the stop round. the run? And how did it affect I would you? I love to see them first round. Only thing is that I'm trying to get to that. Six you, you always feel like, like you got to carry the load, and, and it's not a good thing. Game. Uh, as a quarterback, it can weigh on you. Right now, I feel like Aaron Rodgers is. He's, he's mentally strong. He's, he's capable of handling. He knows what he's dealing with. And the Green Bay Packers, like the last four games, have looked like they was going to lose the game, including the game last, you know. Just That's what I'm saying. Like, man, they beatable. They're hanging on by a thin thread. You know what I'm saying? The Packers is beatable. You know, the Cowboys, we're going to have to play crazy deep. You know, it's going to be a long day if we got to see them in the, in, in the, if we get to see them in the playoffs. You know, but it's going to be a long day for us and for them. So, you know, um, like I said, I think we can take the Cardinals, 49ers. I think we can take 49ers. You know, they beat us once, but I think we can take them. Um, yeah, man, decent little take, decent little take. Yeah, that's like I, like I expected Kyle, and I, Kyle Heard to lean on Vic for, for the take, for the strong take. So, yeah, yeah, we're going to see what else we find. About to put some in the air. You already know about the Medicaid. Stay up, take care, God bless, be safe, boom, hit the PayPal, like, share, subscribe.